Jane, would you ask the boys to come in, please? Yes, sir. You can go in. Craig, you're the project manager here. Why did you bring back Easton? I picked on because uh, this morning, I mean, in, in the meeting and all that, for what, what meeting that, that it was, I, I didn't get anything con constructive from Don in terms of, like, points or whenever we made a decision or that, I felt that he sort of regurgitated all points that we'd already moved on from. So Read the brief. That's yeah. Is that not a, is that not a just, good point? Look, Don, I'm, just, I'm only calling as I see it, so I'm, look, that's what I'm here for, so... Okay. It, but I felt that you saw the least out of, out of the guys as well. Um, I was monitoring everyone in terms of it, effectiveness. And, effectiveness and, I just is, felt and, and, and how was I not effective? Well, just in terms I was the most enthusiastic person there on that street today. The most enthusiastic by a long shot. I looked at what everyone else was doing and, yeah, it was a good idea to take the ice creams out of the bag and show them up, put them in front of people. I did that. Yeah. Now, you didn't tell me to do that. I did that. Yeah. I taught myself that. Because you know something? I learn when I see something. And if I don't know it, I'm not going to bloody learn it. Yeah. And you did not show me. As a team leader, you did not show me. I gave bloody everything, and I can put my hand on my heart. And I don't care who here says what I did. I'll, I can just put my hand on my heart and say with pride that when I was out in that street, I did everything that I could. And if it wasn't good enough, well, so be it. But I tried my best. Okay, let's Please. leave that there. Why Breffney? Breffney was enthusiastic. He's very emotional and enthusiastic, and, which is good. It just needs to be channeled. And I feel in, in terms of how, how he's contributing a point, in terms of the sort of vaguety of it, or in terms of the relevance of the question. My, qu my questions might be vague, but they're never out of place. I'll never throw a topic into the, back into the ring that's been finished. What I wanted to give you was... Uh, all I could in my role on the team, which wasn't to leave. I don't anymore. doubt that so for I a second. I don't doubt that you for a second. You didn't allow people to speak, and I heard the words, this is not a, sorry, no, no, not you, uh, you. I heard words like, this is not a democracy. That didn't necessarily come out of your mouth, but it came out of other people's It came out of my mouth, because it's not a democracy. Craig is in charge. So what is it? A dictatorship? Lads, there's a very, there's a very vague manager. understanding at the moment. That's, the, that was, that, that's well, what's that's the problem not in our team at the moment, that's, Bill. That's not my that? experience of project management. Why shouldn't I fire you, Craig? I don't believe I should be fired, Bill, because... You don't? I don't believe I should be fired. I generally don't. I come into this process and I, I, I'm confident in my skill set. I'm confident in what I have to develop on. I, I want to win, Bill. I'm not here to spoof you. Or if I do something wrong, I'll admit to it straight away. I'm not going to try and second guess. And I genuinely believe I have a lot more to contribute. And I'd strongly urge you, strongly, to keep me in this process and let me, let me kick on. But John, why shouldn't I fire you? I think I have the attitude. I think I have what you are looking for. I feel I, I have prospects to be an excellent salesman. I need a bit of guidance on it. But I've got, I feel I've got what it takes in terms of the fire in the stomach, the will to keep going no matter what. And I believe I am a team player. Refney, why shouldn't I fire you? Well, I delivered sales today. And also uh, in my... In Did you? Yeah, was, well, basically that's the most important thing about today was sales. And also if I if I had to contribute to the uh, strategy, it was just to keep things uh, as disciplined as possible. Do you know how much money you took in for today? I wasn't counting it, Bill. Were you not? No. That's surprising me. That's the first thing I do. Do you know how much you took in today? No, Bill, I don't. You don't, do you? No. I took in approximately 120, 130 okay, so euros. so he has an approximate amount. But I would have thought that you'd know, Breffney. <sighs> Look, I would have liked to have led this project. Well, you never made any attempt for this one, Bethany. No, I didn't, because Craig was the man for it. It's his town. You're, you know, a location is paramount. Uh, he knows where the people are, and he's, he has the experience. I mean, I, it, it just made more sense for the team to have Craig do it, but I know that I would have done a good job as well. Well, I've heard enough. Donal, you'll say the same thing, that you gave it 110%. You were more enthusiastic than anyone else. You took in 120 quid. Do you know something? You don't look like that, Donal. Why is that? Why can't you give us a smile or something sometimes? I, give you a sm I smiled all day today, Bill. Did you? I did. Good. And you're tired of it now? I just found that there was any comments I had to ask. It was, Donald, don't look, just, you don't know what you're talking about. And it, I, I just felt, I'd never been in that situation. It was like two women squabbling together. <coughs> two women? 
No, I didn't mean that in any derogatory sense, Jack, honestly, but you know... You want to be very, very, very careful, careful. I meant it in a, do you know, like a... Yes, yes. I mean another way you meant it. I want you to get that look off your face and to start smiling and start to show some positivity. All I've heard is negativity. That's whinging and moaning, and I don't put up with that. You, sitting on the fence, lying low, not doing what you're supposed to do. You want to be a leader. Guess what? You have to get out there and do it and practice, and then you become a leader. You won't do it sitting on the fence. Craig, one of the things you said earlier on was, and I wrote it down very carefully, Craig, you said, we lost this first task, Bill, but we'll make up for it later. Do you remember saying that? Yeah. You're not going to get a chance to make up for it later, because, Craig, you're fired. Thanks for the opportunity, Bill. Now, you two guys are very lucky to be still here. Do you get that? Yes, Don't want to see you here in this boardroom again like this? Okay. Off you go, and make sure you start pulling yourself together and be something you can be proud of. Hit the road. I just felt that he wasn't for me. I just don't like people who kind of, well, it's no big deal, you know, hello. I'll do it on the next task. Well, hello, you didn't get the next task. That's basically, and it's those words I wrote down because I didn't like that. He was so, I've lost the task. I am the project uh, manager, but next time I'll be better. I definitely think Donald should have went. I mean, he was, he, he contributed very little in terms of constructive points that we could use for the team. And uh, I mean, he's gonna, he's gonna get under the lad's skins when he goes back into the house because uh, I really think that it, I don't see actually what he's going to add to the process in terms of winning tasks. He certainly didn't add anything for me over the last two days, and that's why I think he should have, he should have been fired. One down, 13 remain. The search for Bill Cullen's apprentice has begun. Next week on The Apprentice. So now you're being challenged by something really big. Like that. Okay. Don't, this is the third time. Please stop bringing this up. Well, if you want my opinion, I can give you my opinion, you but Daddy opinion? can't buy you a cup on in Trinity College. <laughs> <laughs> this is my baby. Oh my god, attention seeker life. You got it all wrong here. You're fired.